All right, welcome back. You are watching the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Well, this is the latest version of PC Linux OS. This is the Mate or Mate edition. And I have to tell you this, running this off, off a USB stick, not even as a full install, this is running really, really good. I've had PC Linux OS installed in the past. In fact, in one of my ThinkPads, I have the the LX version or the LXQT version I believe installed uh, for some time now and it runs really really good but let's take a look at this one now this is a rolling release one thing I've noticed about PC Linux OS they don't really focus on on cutting cutting edge technology it's more on stability but probably similar to Debian Linux it's nice that Voco screen screen recorder is installed by default all right, so this is the default desktop here with the usual uh, customizations or the usual as, as far as when it comes to the uh, Mate desktop. Sound preferences here. If you are coming from a Linux environment, I don't think you'll have uh, any trouble navigating uh, through this networking. And this is the uh, right click for Voco screen. One thing I've always liked about the Ma the Mate desktop, I've always liked the ability to add uh, applets. Right click, and for example, we can add the trash applet right here. Very simple, and and this is running really really good uh, off a USB stick. So if you wanted to try this, you don't have to really fully install this. Just run this like I am off my uh, USB stick. All right, so uh, let's see, Firefox is installed by default. If we go to their website, they have several versions. They have KDE, Full Monty, Mate, and the lighter weight version, which is the LXQT. And this is the one I have installed in my ThinkPad, which has, I think, a gig of RAM, or maybe even a little bit less than that. So it's, uh, so far, it's still working, so yeah. I believe PC Linux OS, I believe it's based here in the States in Texas, if I am not mistaken. All right, the default icons here on the screen. Desktop, file, documents, downloads. Again, if you are coming from Windows, this should not be a problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the default software real quick. Let's go to Applications, Accessibility, Configuration. Decoff editor installed, very good. Database, LibreOffice development, education, emulators, virtual box, monitoring. Eh, let's go to system monitor. All right, 840 megabytes, not too bad. Sciences and the terminal archiving, documentation, editors, file tools, games, not too much, graphics. The GIMP installed by default, very good. Of course, Firefox, it's nice that Dropbox is readily available. Office, the usual LibreOffice Software Center. It's nice that the Synaptic Package Manager is installed by default. Clementine, a very good audio player. Video, once again, vocal screen, very nice, installed by default. Places, System, Preferences, Administration, Control Center. Control Center, let's see, administration, hardware, so yeah, this is all fairly self-explanatory. Um, change theme, let's change the theme. Let's go to the dark theme. Very nice. Notice no crashes or glitches running this off a USB stick. Very good. And you have some icons here, shortcuts. Yep, very nice. Smooth is the word for this, at least in my tests. Anyway, check it out. I'll, I will have a link for this below in the show notes. I've had pretty good luck with this type of rolling release, at least in the past. So you may like it too. Uh, keep in mind, once again, they do not use cutting edge software. It's more based on stability, but for a beginner to Linux, that's really all you need in my opinion. So check it out. All right. Well, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive.